um, even though I'm just painting squares it, and it looks very simplistic but without uh, the foundation the, the just painting squares itself would not work uh, there's a, a lot of thought that goes into just painting squares I love watercolors mainly because for its uh, fluidity uh, basically it's a medium where you cannot control the outcome you can hope and pray that it turns out the way you want it to be but there's um, very limited control uh, depending on the materials you use um, I think that in a way forces me to reflect on the way I live my life where uh, we try to live, we, we take the actions that we perceive are the best at that point of time but we will learn to accept and then live and make the best out of the situation that comes out with the results. The turning point was my first solo exhibition. Um, I was featured, I uh, was given a full page feature in the Straits Times and Within that actual day, I sold 20 of my paintings and by the end of the three-week run of the, my first solo show, I sold a record of 50 over pieces. Uh, I didn't expect to win. The truth is, every year we would try, but uh, how I view competition is this. It's a lot like a game of scissors, paper, stones. Um, whether you win scissors, paper, stone don't really depend on which hand you show, but it actually depends on which hand your opponent shows. So I would say that um, I won the competition uh, mainly because uh, I was lucky that the judges sort of understood or had more re uh, resonance with, with my painting as compared to, to the rest. Starry Starry Night was basically based on uh, one of the experiences that I used, uh, I had when I was a child. Uh, I used to love looking at the night sky, uh, lying on my neighbor's car, just looking at the sky. And I realized that uh, when the surrounding was really dark, uh, during a dark night, you could actually see a lot of stars. But if you were in a very bright environment, you couldn't see as much stars. So that was what I felt was a good metaphor for life, where uh, the darker your surroundings, the brighter your, the, the stars will be. So I wanted this painting to represent hope during uh, the darkest time. Uh, on the more technical aspect of the painting was that uh, in art, we usually have a, a few taboos. And one of the main taboo was the center composition. We, us we usually try not to paint um, the main subject in the center. Uh, the other taboos is we try to avoid squares at uh, all costs. Usually circles and triangles are the better shapes to paint. So I wanted to uh, combine these two obstacles. So I chose the center compositions, I chose the square and I chose a theme which resonated with me uh, as a child. And that's how Starry Night came about.